What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at 10 things to look out for when you're buying a vpn now i like to go through a certain type of uh, criteria what i'm looking for when i'm buying a vpn and one of those is speed now a good thing to do is not to commit to a free year plan or anything like that which you see on the internet people promoting free year plans and a lot of these people youtubers are getting a commission for this and that's why they promote it so just look for VPNs that offer different types of uh, security settings and configurations that allow you to get faster speeds for streaming and uh, downloading and stuff like that. So look for those and that way you should get a better experience when using a VPN. Now obviously don't commit to those long plans of three years because you'll be locked in and tied in. So maybe do just the short term plans and look for the faster ones that are available. Uh, yes, it will cost you more money in the long run, but you will get a better service and you can always opt out of it. Now, another big thing is privacy login and terms of service. You want to check all those out before you purchase. And you can see here, IPFanish uh, does not collect or monitor or log any traffic uh, under any circumstances on any platform. And they also may need to collect certain information and you can check all that out on their terms of service. And this will be the same for every uh, VPN service. Uh, you can see here, we do not track your user uh, activities outside of their site. Also, you can see here, they may need to collect some information like email address, payment, and also your address. So you're not gonna be 100% invisible, which people always seem to think that you are, but you're not. Also check where their uh, VPN service runs out of, and you can see here uh, NordVPN runs out of Panama, uh, which allows and guarantees them uh, no logs policy. And you can read some other information here, which is no traffic, no logs, no IP addresses, no data collected at all by NordVPN. So another thing you can check out is the number of servers and locations of those servers, which is important depending on what part of the world you live in. And you can see here, this is just NordVPN's uh, server list. They've got a bunch of servers on there and it also tells you what servers are in what countries and how many and what uh, type of uh, server that is and what you can do with it. So basically you can see here, it's all listed up here and it will tell you what you can do on those servers like peer to peer and so on. So that's one thing that you want to check out if that's your bag. So you just check all those things. And also IP Vanish has a list there and a lot of other VPN services have these uh, lists which tells you how many uh, servers they have and what type of servers they have and uh, what countries they're in and how many they've got in that country. Also another thing I like to look for is the security and versatility which means uh, you can see here Windows 10 PPTP, also Windows 10 L2 uh, TP and so on. There's a bunch of other settings here. And also the versatility shows you what sort of operating systems they work on, Android, iOS, Windows Phone, Windows and so on. So Linux you can see here as well. And that's important if you're using a different platform. So always check those out. And also the security settings here, you can see uh, you've got kill switch, Invisibility on LAN, app kill switch, notifications, start minimized, and also start NordVPN on startup. All those settings you can check out, auto connect and uh, auto reconnect, and you can see all the settings there. And I've got a bunch of them on uh, NordVPN and uh, custom DNS protocols, and also a load of other bits and pieces that you can check out there. So check all those out. Another thing I like to check out is the payment method. What options uh, do you want? for your payment methods. As you can see here, Pure VPN has 50 payment methods like Bitcoin and other ones here, as you can see. So do your research, make sure if you don't want to give credit card details, maybe you want to pay by Bitcoin, the option is available on some VPNs. You can see here, and you can see NordVPN here allows credit cards and payment wall and other types available. So check your VPN service, which you want to buy and check with what payment methods they do. Now also check the peer-to-peer -peer functionality or torrenting or any of that sort of stuff if that's your thing. If you want to do that, then you may need to check the VPN's uh, terms of service, whether they allow you to do that sort of thing on their uh, service. And if they don't, then obviously you won't be able to use that service. So check it out and also um, check out how much data cap they use and also throttling or any of that sort of stuff if you do use that service and what sort of protocols you can use when using it. Also, another thing to check is the number of connected devices. As you can see here, uh, ExpressVPN only allows you to have uh, three 
devices connected at any one time. Some companies will have different criteria and different rules that you have to follow to have more than one device connected. As you can see here, IP Vanish allows you to have 10 simultaneous connections as long as you're using different protocols for each of those connections. And that's probably the same for a lot of companies. So also NordVPN allows you a total of six devices to be connected to any one account as long as those connections are all using different protocols and that's pretty much the same for a lot of companies. Another important factor that I like to look for is technical support. What is their technical support like? You can see here they've got setup guides, troubleshooting and also uh, you've got live chat um, tickets that you can take up and stuff like that. Now a lot of companies do support this like ExpressVPN as well. They offer live chat and also uh, set up your device. It gives you information. NordVPN is pretty much the same thing. So do your research and check all those out if it's important to you. Uh, maybe price is an important part of it and if it is then check out the price system and go with what you feel is best and what offers you the best services. For the types of things that you also want to be doing with your VPN. So just check it out and check all the criteria of what they're offering and whether that suits your needs. Okay, whether it be a price thing, speed, security, encryption, uh, static IP, all them sort of things that we talked about in this video. Now another thing to do is just be careful when you're on YouTube looking because there's a lot of people that promote VPNs on YouTube and they will always promote it and say the links down in the video description. That's the uh, VPN that I'm using and basically they're not using that VPN they've just got an affiliate with that VPN and they make a bunch of money from it when you click on it and buy it okay so I would suggest that you do your own research and look into it a little bit and if you want to buy one then buy one for say a month at a time uh, so you can always opt out and go with another VPN if you find out it's no good don't jump into a three year plan and find out that it's no good and now you've got you're locked in for three years okay because you're going to end up with a bunch of VPNs that you might not need anyway that's about it for this video my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been useful or helpful to you if it does then drop a like on the video and I shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos